How to use workflow. Hey everyone, welcome. I hope you're all doing great. In this video, I'll be talking about voice flow and how to get started using it. This video is going to be for beginners who are just getting started using voice flow. Now, if you don't know, voice flow is basically a platform that allows you to build an AI agent, your very own customized AI agent from scratch. You can actually go ahead and start for free and we can actually see more about it if we just visit voiceflow.com. You can just visit with this website and you can see more about this platform. And you can see how um, the building process is. It's pretty much you have a canvas, as you can see, and you can actually just do, if you're familiar with automations, it's almost exactly the same thing, where you can just connect the, them and you can just have results through them. And you can just simply create your AI assistance this way. So. You can see more about it if you want, but let's talk about uh, one more thing before we get started, which is going to be the pricing. We can just go to voiceflow.com slash pricing, and it should take us to the pricing page. Now it does offer a free plan, which is going to be um, completely for free, no credit card required, nothing. Uh, and then you have the pro plan, team plan, and then enterprise plan. Now, obviously it would be completely different uh, on depends on exactly what you need and your team members just feel free to see the differences between all the plans and see which ones suits you best but now let's say you have already chosen and you may want to start with the sandbox to test things out first before we get uh, into actually paying monthly for the service so after that, we can just go ahead and go to voiceflow.com and click on get started. Again, it's going to be completely for free. We're starting a sandbox. And I will just basically show you the, um, you can see the basics about how to create an AI assistant using voiceflow. So the signing up process is going to be straightforward. I'm not going to bore you with the details. Just sign up and I will meet you in the dashboard. So signing up process is done. It's very simple. Add your information, confirm your email, and that's pretty much all there is to it. Click on get started when you're here. And then you will also need to fill out some more information about you and your business and so much more. So feel free to take the time to fill all those in. And again, I will see you when I'm done. And last step of information, you would want to create your workspace. Just give it a name. And if you want to give it an icon to locate it easier, just feel free to do so. And then just click on continue and it should create this workspace for you. And here we have our canvas ready to go. Basically, obviously there are going to be some tutorials here because they're going to try to teach you how to use it. So I'm not going to really go through all of that. So we have our canvas here. Now, some of the things that we have are going to be event, those, or uh, event AI talk, listen, and all of those things are going to be things that we can actually add to the uh, AI building. So for example, if it's talk, we can add, we can make the, um, we can actually make the AI add some text. If it's listen, we can actually allow the AI to listen and to the choices and th through the choices, give a correct answer. Uh, and so much more. So basically those are going to be inputs for our building. Now in the canvas, it always starts with a start button and then you will lead from there. This start button is going to be uh, leading to this welcome section where it's going to allow the AI to say hello, welcome to your first assistant and so on and give all of those questions and stuff. And then this is going to also lead to capture a question. Obviously it depends on the answer. Uh, and then we hear this is going to lead to this and this is going to lead to that. Basically, this is how it's going to work. And I will show you exactly how to add them. Uh, but for moving around, it's very simple. Just with your mouse, you can just go and feel free to drag and move around as you please. Uh, and yeah, this is pretty much how you can navigate. So basically, we have these two sample uh, workflows. You can see the simple one and the complex one. Uh, but let's actually go ahead and create our own AI from scratch with our own workflow. So we can just click on uh, workflows plus icon next to it. Give it a name so we can just give it a test workflow. 
and description i'm just going to leave this empty but if you want to add a description as well you can also add it so maybe input what the ai is going to be doing exactly create workflow once you are done and now can we just stop with the tutorials okay there you go so here we have the start button you will need to add an intent an intent is going to be the intention for the user so pretty much what they are going to be uh, asking for whether it's going to be help or saying yes or saying no and so much more uh, we have presets here that you can see for example those are going to be the presets that we already have yes no none submit a ticket so we can choose one of them uh, or we can actually go ahead and create our very own uh, intent and i'm just going to actually do that for now so click on create a new intent if you don't have the one that you need in there give it a name which is going to be help and then description is uh user seeking help slash support now here is going to be the important part those utterances are going to be basically uh, what people need to say in order for this intent to be to be working basically so we can just enter some inputs like help we can add uh, i need help i uh, need support help me and we can also generate uh, with ai to help us with that as you can see these suggestions here we have plenty of them okay great so here we can just click on create intent once we are satisf satisfied with it and we can see now that we have our help um, button here working pretty much now if you played it it's not really going to uh, be doing much because there is no path to it we will need to obviously create something here that is going to lead to it so when somebody asks for help we will need to add a solution for that basically so what you would do generally speaking is you would want to see exactly what you want to do when somebody asks for help maybe add some text by the way this is going to be from the aspect of ai so for example this text is going to be the text from the ai once somebody uh, a user is asking for help you just drag and drop and you can see uh you can add your text in here we can just do how sorry so from the right side you can just add how can i help you or what can i help you with it just depends on exactly how you want it to be and this is going to be our text in here and we can just simply connect them now to connect them we just need to you see the dot in here or in here or in any other block you can just simply drag and drop and it should connect automatically and now if we just play it actually is it basically someone is going to be asking for help and then it's going to work now why is it not working is because hold on a second i feel like i'm missing something here hmm. i believe that it needs to be actually training uh, yes it needs to be trained because uh to be trained basically the agent is going to understand phrases that are not added within the utterances that we have just added basically so we need to just click on it click on train agent make sure they understand exactly what's going on basically and this after this is done we should go ahead and again test things out so now that the ai has uh trained we can actually go ahead and run the test again so somebody is asking is going to be asking for help and as you can see it's done and the ai is going to basically ask how can i help exactly how we want it to be now we can go back and add more stuff for example we want to do um, another text a follow-up text we can also do so you can just drag and drop it here or if you want to completely change it we can actually just do something like um listen and give a choice we can just add it in here and then we can just connect it uh from here we just need to drag and drop to this section uh, and now this is going to be connected now listening for an intent you will need to obviously select the intent and then select the action for it so the help one we already did yes we want we would want to choose the action for it here is going to be answer yes you would want to go to text 
added here connect uh, both of them like so and you can see pretty much how this is going to work and you have more stuff in here as well you have logic where you can set up conditions uh, and more stuff in there and this is pretty much how to use a workflow to create your AI assistant you basically just create your commands intents and you will need to go ahead and select the action or the proper action for it so feel free to take the time to read more about them so for the events you can add the intents in here which is going to lead to an action by the AI you can have AI as response AI responding to the actual intent that we have just simply connect them uh, and obviously you can always run the test after you add the inputs so make sure you add the inputs first and it's going to work for you and you pretty much get the idea so you can always just learn from these if you um, have any issues here so you can see this leads to that and if you have multiple answers more answers lead to more uh, actions and so on it's just simply an, a, a huge interconnection of answers and intents so with that being said this is pretty much how to use a voice flow as a beginner or just the basics and you can also add more stuff here image and more stuff like notes uh, be able to move uh, with trackpad or mouse i just prefer to use the mouse um, and yeah this is pretty much how to use workflow as a beginner obviously it can get very complex but you know over time with training uh, but as a basic, I believe I just covered exactly what you need to do. Those are going to be your tools and you just basically drag and drop whatever you want. And you can connect by dragging these dots to the actual item. So I hope you found this video to be helpful and thanks for watching.